Hey guys, it's Soul Swimmers. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna take off our makeup together. So I have a lot of products that I've been using. I have actually tested some of them out in my channel. I also like to switch off all my products just continuously, but I've been really liking this one combination that I have going on right here. So I feel like it's gonna be the thumbnail. But anyways, I wanted to take off my makeup with you guys so you guys can see like how these products work, what am I using lately, and answer all those little questions that you may have. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is gonna be a bit of a challenge because I actually have like a little pot of water here in front of my computer, my camera, all my equipment, and I just like, I am so scared that I like pour it over all that stuff. I'm gonna be putting this little um, bandana, but this bandana is like not, like it has metal inside or something. I'm not sure how this is supposed to work, but. Okay, so the first thing that I'm doing is obviously taking off my lashes. I've been wearing this makeup for like nine and a half hours, not even gonna lie. Oops. Yeah, so I'm trying out this foundation. It's the Bite Beauty Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. And I can't tell you guys how I feel about it yet because I had a bit of a struggle putting it on, but I really like like the end result. Like I feel like it looks really nice on the skin. So based on that, I feel like it's it's a good foundation. Um, it's my first time trying anything from Bite Beauty, and I feel like it was user error probably. So I don't want to say that like anything negative about it because I do really enjoy it. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is just take my makeup off. So the first thing I like to do is just go in with the Sensibio H2O Bioderma Makeup Remover. And I've mentioned this before just because I love this. It's so good for sensitive skin. If you have any trouble on your skin, if you're looking for something that is just water-based, um, this is honestly amazing. It takes everything off, including your mascara, including waterproof mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of this on this little cotton bowls. I've been really liking these. These are from Target um, and they bring a ton of them and I feel like they're so big and you're gonna see in a second that I can use just one full one for my whole face. So I like to press on my eyes. This is the area that obviously you have your mascara and you have your, um, your eyeliner. So I like to press for a couple of seconds and then I'll go in and swipe. And once I swipe, I feel like it takes most if not all of it off. Like you guys can see right there. So. We're seeing how this is getting full, but we still have a whole another side. So I'm going to go ahead to the other eye and press and do the same thing, just pressing. I don't like rubbing on my skin if I don't have to. So that's what I like to do, I like to press. And then usually it takes me like maybe one or two of these, depending on how much makeup I have on. I feel like today I have a lot of foundation on, so um, you guys are seeing. Maybe I'll use two. But, I feel like they really work. Okay, so I feel like I'm going to leave it right there. I have still a little bit of makeup on, but honestly, I can take that off with my cleanser. So, I'm going to show you guys what cleanser I've been using. And this one is the Skin Lab Lift and Firm Daily Cleanser. So, this is how it looks like right there. So I have mentioned this cleanser before on my channel. I've mentioned that I really, really like their products. Ooh, this water is so cold. But anyways, I'm just going to take a little bit of water on my fingers and I'm going to rub it through my face just to make it wet. Because I don't like going on dry skin. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of this. You don't need a lot of it, honestly. So I'm going to take in like maybe this much. And I'm going to start just rubbing it on my skin. I'm going to take a little bit more water to make it a little bit more sudsy. And what I do is I just rub for like about 20 to 25 seconds until I feel like I've gotten pretty much every area that I want to clean up. And I'm just press on my skin with this small towel and just kind of soak up all the water. There's like no other feeling so good and refreshing than having like clean skin. So right after I do that, I go in with this Pixi Rose Tonic and I've been really liking it. At first when I first started using it, it did break me out a little bit. But now I feel like my skin just got really like used to it. So so I'm going to be applying just another cotton pad from Target, the ones that I mentioned. 
And I'm gonna be kind of pressing this in. I like to press it in on my cheek area and my forehead. And then all the other areas, I kind of just swipe around it. And the next thing I'm gonna apply, I'm just gonna show it to you guys. This one is the Ordinary Niazamide 10% Sink 1%. And honestly, when I first tried this, it really wasn't working for me. It took me a couple of times and kind of figure out which product this actually worked with. And now I feel like I got the hang of it. So I'm really, really liking it. I feel like the ordinary products are so inexpensive and so good. Same as good, um, good molecules. So I just feel like they're so good. I like pressing it in like this. I don't know if it actually works better, but this is what I like to do. And then once I'm done, I just kind of... This one's like way more sticky than hyaluronic acid. So I feel like if I don't press it in, I can't even swipe it if I wanted to. Okay, so the next product is actually something that I really love. It's also from Skin Lab, and I've been just loving these products, you guys know. Um, this one is a daily moisturizer, and this is how the bottle looks like. It's a really nice and thick moisturizer. It's honestly amazing, and it smells really good. It also makes you feel like your skin is on point. I'm gonna be taking a little bit of this. I've been using this forever and it's still like halfway. I just can't believe it. And then my moisturizer, I do like to bring it to my neck. So I kind of apply it like this. Okay, so when, once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and apply this um, Lift and Firm Collagen and Allison Eye Gel. Also from Skin Lab. Hopefully I'm not making this like super long because I know like watching me take my makeup off is not the most exciting thing. <laughs> so I just kind of swipe this underneath my eyes. I do like tap, tap, tap and then just swipe it. Tap, tap, tap. And then I like to kind of swipe it so it really gets in there. And then whatever's left on my finger, I just kind of put it over my lid. On days that I'm actually putting like a little eye patch, I skip this step. But the last step is actually from Good Molecules and I feel like this has transformed my skin. This one is the Esquilin Oil from them and it says that it softens, seals, and moistures and also regulates skin's natural oil balance. So this is how it looks like. My eyes are just like having a glass right now. Okay, let's go ahead and apply a little bit of this. This one, I just like to press in. And honestly, this oil is amazing. It's like not sticky at all. And it makes your makeup like glide on and look amazing. That is pretty much it. I would apply a mask, but I already did one yesterday. <laughs> I didn't really know that I was gonna do this video. So that is it for this video, guys. It's the skincare routine that I've been following lately. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. Maybe I suggested a product that you haven't tried before that you've been wanting to try for a while. And everything is going to be linked down below if you're interested. But honestly, these are my OG products. I really recommend these and I love them. I've been using them for months. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe below, like this video, and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye!